depending how much time you want to put in, it's not too difficult to make a holiday tree in Onshape. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a smooth tree or an angular tree using just a quick little trick I knocked together. Like anything in Onshape, we're going to start with a sketch. It's going to look something like this. We have our coordinate planes and we have our origin point to start with. We're going to go to a sketch and start on the front. Go to a front view. And the first thing we want to do is decide how tall our tree is going to be. I like a six foot tree. Or maybe you want to do a little bigger. Go big. Go 6.5 feet. All right. So there's our first line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a construction line to sort of draw the general shape that I want. How fat or skinny do we want our tree to be? This looks pretty good to me. Escape. And I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw the stump. Now, the stump's going to look kind of skinny right now because it's going to get doubled in thickness. Okay, it's going to get doubled when we do the next couple of steps. To create the green cone part, we're going to do some drawing. Um, if we were okay with just a regular cone, you could just use a straight line here. But I like things to look a little better, so I'm going to use a spline on the bottom to sort of get that wavy bottom bit. Then I'm going to use a line from the top, and I'm going to zigzag just a little bit out and a little bit in. And it doesn't need to be perfect. A little bit out and a little bit in. And end on the corner. So now we have two gray areas. We have the stump and we have the top. Now for the simplest tree we can use the revolve tool and just spin this around. So we've got to select the axis. We select the parts we want to spin and then we select the axis. We want to spin it around. And boom, we have a tree. Now, don't worry if it doesn't look great at first. Like, this looks kind of weird. I'm going to go back to the sketch, and I'm just going to, like, play with the drawing until I get it to look more like how I want it. I've done three sections. You can do as many sections as you want. It doesn't matter. Now, this line got stuck as horizontal. I'm going to click on that and delete it so that I can make this an angle. I think it looks better if there's a little bit of an angle on these bottom lines. Then you can just add color, appearance panel. I would just set the whole thing to be green and then add an appearance brown to the stump. And there's a simple holiday tree, right? Easy enough. But it looks kind of basic. It looks kind of lame. So uh, let's talk about how you make the angular tree, which looks like this. And it's just a little bit cooler. Looks really cool if you turn off edges. Just looks, I don't know, more complicated and more interesting. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the revolve, and we're actually going to extrude this just a little bit. Like maybe three, 3.5 inch or four inches. Okay. And we're going to leave it that color for now. The next thing we want to do is cut it so that it's thick out here and thin in here. And you'll see why in just a second. We want it to be shaped like this. So we're going to put a sketch on the bottom rectangle here. And go to a bottom view. I'm going to draw a line from here out to here. But it's not connecting. So I'm going to get the use tool. And I'm going to click on that point right there. So now that point is part of my sketch. And I'm going to draw from there. Not all the way to this corner. Right about there. And I'm going to draw a triangle like that. Then I'm going to extrude that triangle, both parts of it, and I'm going to remove everything. Just cut away. See, I'm cutting away that extra part. Which leaves me with this weird sort of pie slice of Christmas tree. Which is perfect. The next thing we're going to do is use a tool some of you have used. 
uh, called the circular pattern tool. We need to click on the entities to pattern. So we're going to just click on our big slice of tree and we've got to click an axis and we're going to click on one of these lines in here. And you see what it does is it spins that piece around and makes copies. And we're just going to spin it around a bunch of times until it, we like the way it looks, until it basically fills in. I like, whoops, you can do however many you want. I'm going to do 36 because I like it. And then we're going to say, instead of doing new parts, we don't want 36 parts. We're going to say add, merge with all, so they all connect together to make one Christmas tree. Ta-da! Now we just got to color it, change it all to be green, add an appearance, brown. We need the orange box to get all these. Check. The stump is brown, the top is green. It all looks very Christmas tree to me. And if you don't like the way the lines are, you can always go back and you can edit your sketch later. But that is how you make the angular Christmas tree. Now, I did go ahead and make a slightly fancier tree. All I did for that, I drew my sketch. I extruded it. I did a chamfer on everything. Then I drew my slicing triangle which was a little trickier. I sliced it away, just like I did, did before. Slice, 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 slice. And then I did the circular pattern. And it just looks that much cooler with that chamfer built in. It just makes the edges that much more interesting. Um, and then I did something really extra. I did a sketch down here. I drew a 36 sided shape and extruded that so that the stump would look like that. And that's how I made my super fancy tree.